What's up, all my beautiful, wonderful Toku people on the internet? Tip out on this lovely Monday afternoon. I'm your host, Bokusatsu, and today we're here to review the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Beast Morpher Yell, or you also know her, or you also know this suit from the Santa account, Power Ranger Before Rain More, Tokyo Santa Go Buster, Yellow Buster. We got Yuko, finally. We got Yuko slash Zoe. It's about fucking time be dead. God damn it, Hasbro. And uh, what are my thoughts on the figure, bro? <laughs> well, my. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So, how can I start this? Okay. First off. First off. First off, to say it like this, the figure isn't bad. No, but it's. My copy is average. And I say average the nicest way possible, and I'll show you what I mean. So scope rise, yep, this looks just like the one from from the Sentai and Power Rangers. Hope the suit is. The paint, the paint for this one's pretty good for the Morpher. Unfortunately, I wish they paint other Ranger Morphers with the exact same scope. Just saying, like I don't know, fucking Dino Charge, the Dino Fury, because well, all those Morphers ain't fully painted, but yet the Beast Morpher ones are. Just saying. See if he has, but what the hell? Just what the hell? How is the articulation for this figure? Well, this is this is how far she goes from here to here. Yeah, she's yeah, she's a little limited up here. I don't know why. Oh, if anybody asked me how anybody asked me, is she a bobblehead? Oh shit, no way. Yes. Her foot is loose, to be honest. Her her legs are loose on my cop, unfortunately, when I, when I got her out of the box. This is how far you can pose her. This is how far she goes from this to this. She can't go this or this, unfortunately. She, she's going to go here to here. This is how far her arms go out. And uh, this is how far her legs are. And, uh, yep, that's, 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 that's good, I guess. There's not a lot of good things about the figure, unfortunately. And that's not, not because of Hasbro and the complete disappointment I had to be treating this brand. But to be fair, she's a little bit better than Aguilera's figure. Because uh, as much as I enjoyed that cream beef figure, I did say in my video, my last review, that figure mid at best. You know, well, Zoe's kind of the same, but yeah, she's like a little bit more better than her. Well, me, this figure is, but yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, for I get, for I get, let me show you what I'm talking about, let me show you what I'm talking about why me her legs are loose. Like, what the fuck? Hasbro, really? Is this your Q, is this your QC issue? Wow, wow. The fucking loose. To be fair, to be fair, this whole figure is loose. My God, Hasbro, this. <laughs> My God, you guys are, you guys just, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Hasbro. I never thought see the day a toy company like this would take massive, massive L's after getting so many criticism online. And yeah, what the hell happened? I thought Hasbro needed to be the best toy company with Marvel Legend. <laughs> Not anymore. The fuck? That should belong to Tomashi for for all for all the imports they're making. Well, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get people mad for saying that, but I'm just being honest. Well, my opinion, but still, I'm just I'm just being real by saying that. And, he, and he, we're gonna go into the set here because obviously doesn't come a lot. But to be fair, she's, to be fair, she's a twenty dollar figure, so she's not an import. Anyway, here's the head scope. This does not look like this. Somewhat look like Zoe's actress. Other, not so much. You know, well. Eh, I'm not not the biggest fan of head scopes anyway for any collection. We have her weapon, which is well. That's good. She has a sword. Uh, 
we have her uh, her fist in her hand. God. Oh god. Yeah, see, that's a combo a lot. And see, and we have this we issue Shadow Ranger effect. Yeah, that's basically it. That's basically, that's basically what we'll get for her. So let's go on the size comparison. I have a lot to compare her with. So, just to get just to get her on the way, we're we're gonna compare her to her other to her other counterpart in this wave. Here we have Coda. Koda and Nonsan. Here we have Izzy. No, this is not Toa. Fuck Toa. <laughs> and uh, can you guys guess which one out of all of them had the most worst QC issues? Again, okay, not down charge blue or beast more for yellow. That for sure. <laughs> for record, all for record, my copy down fear green isn't bad. See, okay, but but uh, I'll take it. No like, no like uh issue. With the figure all down my copy, so yay for that, I guess. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, ooh, my bad. <laughs> I'm about to say, wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> here we are with here we are with the other GoBusters with UG. With UG, I've been watching a lot of GoBusters. Yeah, I still, I still remember the characters' names. I fucking, I uh, fucking love Go Buster. Ooh, ooh, the light, the light back in there. Dude, look, dude, that looks so good. We got hair move, Yoko and Ryuji. Fuck yeah. I love Go Buster, so seeing all three of them together like this, hell yeah. Alright, alright, Hasbro, give me fucking G and Escape, then we're good. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the time. I mean, okay, the power of the combo. Give me fucking uh, Steel and uh, Rocky. Roxy. I don't say Rocky, no, Roxy. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I don't, I, I don't even care for Steel's character and Beast more. For I prefer, I prefer a Sentai counterpart and Go Busters more, but still. But yeah, the, it, it, yeah, the, it's cool to have all the main three Go Busters trio in this vid, in my collection now. Here we, here we go. We have both oh, Beat Buster, Jin. I fucking love Jin. Jin's awesome. And we have Escape. Oh, ooh, hold on. Someone trying to put a sword on, on his uh, hand. I hope he's just holding this hand. I'm sorry, wasting people's time with this video. <laughs> And uh yeah. Well to be fair, she's now to be fair, she's way more well, she, she's a little bit more short than both of them. But if we're gonna be honest, mostly because of the Sentai footage well, and the suit act and the suit actress or actor. I know I know a beast morph go buster, yo buster suit actor's a guy. I don't know I think a beast morph is a female, but that's just me. I think so. So yeah. Oh, please ignore the please ignore the honking you heard in the background. My window's open. I have virus. Fucking, it's sunny as shit outside right now where I live. And thank God for that. No more fucking snow. <laughs> Here we have Bill Genius. Here we have Callus or well, Hajime. Go watch Blade if I'm. And here we have Revy. We have one. Oh, shit. oh fuck! Damn it. Okay, no. Hold on. Hold on. I'll compare to. I'll, I'll compare to Revy next. Hold on. Don't fall down, Hajime. <laughs> they feel all over the place. Well, well. Look at this. That Santa's way more taller than both of them. But to be fair, one's a 1.0 figure. Another one's a two. Another another one is a uh, 
a American figure in a well, compare well, 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 the height difference between an SC7 figure art is totally different. Yeah, but at the same time, you can use that to your advantage for pictures like I do all the time. So, yeah. And just because I figured, just because I viewed the figure last year, well, last, last, last time, let me go get her. Yeah, I shocked myself. Here she is with the SA figure of Kamen Rider Aguilera. I said that this figure mid at best, and uh, that yeah, yeah, I still stand by that figure mid at best. And here she is with the other figure I reviewed before Aguilera, Kamen Rider Revy. Don't worry, I will do Vice's review when I get the chance. And, uh, yeah. She skills pretty well with both of them. <laughs> even though, she's a little bit, even though she's, a, she's tall, she's way taller than, than both of them. So, yeah. So, uh, what, what do I think? This figure, fuck, <laughs> okay. This figure, ugh, fuck. Uh, well, in my personal opinion, she's the best one out of the main race. Yeah, it doesn't say much because Coda, my copy of Coda, his uh, his helmet does not do this. His helmet is not. His helmet does not rotate like the main others, and his legs are super loose. And that and that sucks and that breaks my heart. Thanks a lot, Hasbro. You guys really know how to make a customer very really happy. See the best one out of the main red. And that doesn't say much because well, I don't have the I don't have the army builder from the wild from wild force because well. I do want to go. Pick, I do want. I do want to go. Pick, I do want to go pick him up one day. But right now, trying to save money. So yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. This figure's all right. Not the best. Is it? Is, I think. It, I think it's way better than uh, than Aguilera's figure art. That's that's for sure. In my personal opinion. But yeah, this figure. This figure's all right. Not the best. Her legs are loose. That that gets on my nerves. She doesn't. I wish she had like more posability, but again, then, again, then, again, then the picture you're gonna see, I did, I did pose her a lot, so there's also that too. It's, I don't know, dude. I just wish that Hasbro stopped stop being fucking lazy. Excuse me, I'm just wish Hasbro stop being lazy with the with this brand, these figure command. And when you release a comes out, it seems somewhat disappointing or meh or or just. Average at best, or me, mediocre at best. So yeah, Zoe's Zoe's all right figure, and that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description, and uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, keep the notif keep the notification button on for my next video, and uh, yeah, guys, my name Aaron, or Bloku, and uh, I'm out. Peace.